does Kevin Gibbons make DJ Jones expendable? Because if a team out there goes and says, hey, DJ Jones, you're one technique, but we want to pay you $5 million. Does the 40 or will the 49ers really want to match that with the level that Kevin Gibbons is playing? They like what they see in Darian Daniels as a future uh, backup at that one tech position. So the way he's playing does, because I, I feel like if Kevin Gibbons wasn't playing at this level, they would have said, all right, we got a match. I'm just throwing out a random number based on what that market probably would be. So it's a guesstimate. Uh, if Kevin Givens wasn't playing at this level, I absolutely think 49ers would say, all right, $5 million for DJ Jones. That's something we're going to have to eat up because or it's going to be, it's going to kill us on defense, especially against the run. Yeah. Now, now I think what they're going to do when they go to the negotiation with DJ Jones is basically, thanks. Have a good one. We like you. But uh, if you have another offer, congratulations. Take it. I don't think they can really afford to be given money to DJ Jones. They may, they may not even be able to afford Kyle Juszczyk. So, yeah, Kevin, gives him, makes, Kevin Givens makes him expendable. Good luck, DJ. He should have a good career somewhere. Yeah, he should. Yeah. Um, like I said, uh, what, we were, what you missed out on I mean, is – We all know we all know what fixes the cap issue. We all know what it is. but. <laughs> Oh, no, even when they do cut Jimmy, and they're going to cut Jimmy, they'll get rid of Jimmy, whatever it's going to be. Oh, my God, he just said it. And we know that's going to happen. But doesn't a lot of that money go to Fred Warner and Trent Williams? How much do they pay? All of it goes to those two. All of it to them. So I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. DJ Jones might get paid like DJ Reader. What did you sign for? Google. How much did he sign for? I don't remember off the top of my head because I don't don't either. About DJ Reader, um, uh, DJ Reader got fifty-three million dollar four-year contract. Jeez, nah, nah, cool. But yeah, yep. Yeah, like I said, if I got barbecue sauce from DJ Jones's dad, <laughs> I'll make the case why the 49ers should give him that DJ or that uh, that Reader contract. But if I don't have any barbecue sauce, I can't make that case of why he should make ten million dollars. I here. will email them for you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> He's never played more than 11 games in a season. He's never had more than two sacks in a season. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, he's Some a rotational guy. Ball. Like we we talked about it. He's a rotational yeah. guy, right? Like and yeah. you can't you can't pay those guys too much money. It's it's a neat, it's it's nice to have, but if he's like you said, if he's going to get money somewhere else, I'm always with the players that don't matter. Go get your money, man. If somebody's going to yeah. pay you. Yeah, go get it. He should get it. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He's he's a hell of a player. He's just in his in a position to where it's not really valued that much to this 49ers team because how they got to the Super Bowl last year and how they were so dominant wasn't because of DJ Jones' pass rush skills. And I think that this offseason they are going to be focused on getting back to that level of dominating the quarterback with pressures. And I think and I think we, we won't see this kind of injury issue next year either. This is this is an odd year. You yeah. know, you'll see next year Bosa will be back. You got Kinlaw, Armstead, and then Hyder, hopefully, or Blair as your other edge guy. Your your rotation's off. So where does DJ fit in there? Where does Kevin's given come in? Where does mm-hmm. um Octavia Street? Octavia Street who's playing really right. well. Like yeah. there's I guess yeah, I guess I guess you can say he kind of is is expendable, but I would I would try to keep DJ Jones. I, I think he's sure. a good player. I just I like him. I don't think well, he I, mean, I don't think he price himself games. out. Yeah, and Durian Daniels is another guy like that in Nebraska. So yeah. It's a good problem to have. You yeah, know, there's there's never a there's, problem to have. there's no there's never an issue with man, we have too many guys that are solid. No, you know, no. but you know, again, you know, you gotta make sure that you know it, it, it has to work within the constructs of the team. Like you have you can't overpay a guy just because you like the rotation. Like you can't do that. So yeah, sure. I mean I'm it's, it's me personally, I'm keeping him. I'm gonna try to keep him. I would try to keep him. Yeah, I would try to keep him, but I, I, like the way the Niners tried to keep Emmanuel Sanders, like you have to cap it at a certain number. Be like, yeah. well, we're not going to do more than this, even though we like you. Yeah, I think that's fair. It, like Jason said, it's a great problem to have. My San Francisco Giants, they have a bunch of problems and a bunch of holes. They don't, they're not in that position like 49ers are right now. Imagine being a Yankees fan, bro. It's so tough right now. Oh, yeah, so hard. You know what's tough is being a Yankee fan on 49ers Twitter because. Everybody across the world hates the Yankees, and I forget. And I live in I live in this bubble here in Jersey, like where it's all Yankees, and it's like yeah. nobody else. 
<laughs> At least so right. those games when I was in high school, there would be random F the Yankees chants when they were playing like the Blue Jays. Like it'd just be like a Wednesday night against whoever, the Rangers, and people would be like, F the Yankees. Rent oh, free, yeah, baby. Rent to. free. Got that, happens, but that, that happens to me all the time. The stadium I go to. I'm like, who do you like? Like your team probably is worse. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. Who do you like? Who do you <laughs> yeah, who, do you, who who's your team? They stink. Yeah. Tom Compton's of the MLB. Um oh, him. Oh. Why why did you have, why like you you do that on purpose, Leo? You do that on purpose. A little bit. Still waiting to make a to make a shirt a straight out of Tom Compton. But <laughs> hey Leo, how do you get that little ticker at the bottom? Ah, you just click on the oh, banner. Oh, it's a it's on banners. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It'll, it has a little oh, thing. You, says, oh. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh. Grant, you pay you pay eighty hundred dollars a month for yeah. StreamYard. I know. You, you, hit, you hit their you hit their customer service line more than anybody. How they do you not me. know these things? I don't know. I'm really not technologically savvy. And Leo, every time Leo does something, I'm like, wow, that was great. That's nice. <laughs> All right, Leo, good stuff. Thanks.